As you might have seen uh, during the night, Vince McMahon has resigned from TKO and WWE. Now, Adam did a video that is on the channel just now that goes into details about uh, the immediate fallout off that. But we've had some some more details that have been revealed uh, since Adam's uh, video on that topic. Yeah, since the initial sort of news broke. Yeah, so following the announcement, this comes via deadline. Uh, Vince McMahon has released a statement. He says, I stand by my prior statement that Miss Grant's lawsuit is replete with lies, obscene made up instances that never occurred and is a vindictive distortion of the truth. I intend to vigorously defend myself against these baseless accusations and look forward to clearing my name. He continued by saying, however, out of respect for the WWE universe, the extraordinary TKO business and its board members and shareholders, partners and constituents, and all the employees and superstars who make WWE into the global leader it is today, I have decided to resign from my executive chairmanship and the TKO board of directors effective immediately. Um, him coming out there with a statement isn't unexpected. You immediately following a resignation, you would expect him to come out with a statement like that. No, we saw a legal team make a statement to very similar effect yesterday uh, afternoon British time so mm -hmm. it was well, sort of toward the end of the day but um, very much just said that Vince was going to uh, get out there and, and prove his innocence but I think in terms of you know like this should have happened a long time ago yeah and it's especially coming with the, the lawsuit in the past couple of days it Sorry. was one of those things where it's not it's not unexpected that something yeah. like this would happen and his resignation would occur. Um, I mean, as covered by Adam last night, Nick Khan had sent a round of internal emails around uh, and that was reported by Sean Ross Sapp, which sort of informed the WWE staff that Vince McMahon had tendered his resignation yeah. and he'll no longer have a role with TKO and WWE. Now, PW Insider also shed some light on the backstage reaction to the news, uh, reporting that the initial response to Vince McMahon's resignation was a mix of relief and happiness, depending on who you spoke with backstage. Uh, they went on to say, that there are some in WWE who feel that McMahon got what was coming to him based on the allegations in the lawsuit filed by Janelle Grant. Uh, it continues by saying that there are some in WWE who are glad Vince is now officially distanced from the company as he was, as one source revealed to them, a black cloud hanging over everything, though he wasn't involved in anything. And I guess, yeah, on that front, uh, having him completely now separately removed because the only thing holding him in his contract was himself. Right, and that's the thing. He came back after his original uh, departure yeah. from WWE WWE's retirement and he sort of forced himself back into the board of directors he took on that position and the clause basically stated that um, they can't really fire him yep. they can't really get rid of him he has to step down himself that's the only way so it's it feels like one of these things where they were kind of stuck with with Vince mm. regardless of what was going on in the external world um, and of course it's it's kind of a shock when when we heard the news that uh, of the lawsuit of course and then the, the shock as well the fact that well they, they are kind of stuck they can't get a way out of, of having Vince McMahon on the board because of the clause in his contract well there is a you know further belief from the PW Insider report as well that Endeavor may decide to sweep anyone who is close to Vince McMahon out of the company in order to have a fresh start moving forward and I don't think that's very surprising at all I think anybody who is in and around uh, anything to do with situation mm -hmm. um, that, that that's currently ongoing um, is, is gonna 100% be you know under suspicion from the company. It's not the same company it was. That's the thing. It's not the same company it was. They've got a parent company now, Endeavor, TKO. They, they're, they're, they will be doing internal investigations. And Vince's actions have directly cost them money now. They've lost the Slim Jim sponsorship. Well, that's just it. Yeah. Slim Jim, of course, coming out with a statement last night revealing that they were pausing their partnership with WWE, the sponsorship partnership that we've seen over the past year that they've they've really come quite closely linked to the brand um, yeah. like they were back in the day. And them pulling their sponsorship from the Royal Rumble tonight. That's a very short time period to turn it around. And then, of course, we've now had Vince's resignation. You've got to imagine that that played some part of, uh, some role in that, of course. Yeah, well, I mean, uh, it, it's it's no surprise that, you know, the second it started uh, having a knock-on effect, then it was going to become unmanageable. But I, again, I just think that this should not have been a situation that was able to have happened. Vince shouldn't have been able to get himself into a position. Nobody should be able to get mm -hmm. themselves into a position where you, you can't, 
physically be removed, right? Yeah. It, it just doesn't make any sense. He should be held to accountable from the board members yeah. by the company. And he had, it seems like someone who had far too much power, uh, yeah. even now in, in, in that role that he had, even if he had nothing to do, as the report says, with the company in terms of um, day-to-day operations and, and such. Um, there are staying with, though, with a backstage reaction in PW Insider's report. Uh, it also reveals that there are some hoping with his departure that this will open the door to Stefano McMahon coming back. Uh, however, they do know, and as Sam had mentioned there, it is a totally different company than what it was when she was with their last. Different structure. There's just so much has changed. I mean, we heard about it in the initial weeks of the merge, right? Nick Khan talking about merging departments. There were a lot of layoffs. There were a lot mm-hmm. of uh, jobs folded into one another. There were a lot of departments that were just shuttered and changed into something else entirely. So they've basically restructured the entire thing. And I think you know, there's a lot of speculation. There's a lot going on right now surrounding, you know, the ins and outs of Stephanie being in and out of the company mm-hmm. and, and her position uh, during some of this. Uh, but I, I think that, yeah, I don't think we're going to see a McMahon in a position of power in WWE ever again. Well, that's that's just it. This I is the first it. time we've we've, yeah. we've really been in a situation where there's no McMahon mm. in charge of WWE. Uh, Stephanie returning is something that has a slight higher chance than obviously Vince coming back as, as Adam covered last night Dave Meltzer mm-hmm. saying this is this is him out there's no way really for him back he's not yeah. got the voting power to get back onto the board he's got 12% ownership of the company whereas Stephanie McMahon there is a potential there but it's really unsure how she, as Sam said would, would mm-hmm. fit into that company and, and <clears throat> what her role would be in that um just um, just staying with, with the PW Insider report even more, they're, they're sent, and they're going back to the note about how those with the connection to Vince, and, and Stephanie obviously has a, a very close link with Vince McMahon with yeah. him being her father. Uh, people backstage feeling that their connection to Vince could really negatively impact their WWE status, even if it doesn't mean they're out of the company, just having that close link with Vince is a well, negative. That's what I mean, just going back to what I was saying before about anybody who's in and around him, um, especially during this time period, I think is going to be very much scrutinized now given that, um, you know, it's not a company-led uh, mm-hmm. investigation from the, the company the way it was. Yeah. Right? So I think that there's going to be a lot of people. Um, I, I think vast numbers of people are going to be questioned. And I, I think that it, it's there's going to be more comes out before, you know, it all said and done. It seems to be a constantly moving... Um sort of situation there seems to be more things breaking mm. about it um, and obviously with the Slim Jim stuff as we would mentioned that, that's that's a sponsorship pooling that is effectively you know that's taking money away from the shareholders and the, and the board of directors and the company negatively impacting them in that light and that's something when that's as Sam had said that sort of gets the ball rolling with these mm. sort of situations PW Insider reporting the backstage feeling was that you know once Slim Jim had paused it that's going to be the dominoes that's going to start getting things into motion and that's when other partnerships are essentially going to pull out mm. and Vince McMahon would have no choice but to you know unceremoniously exit the company um, but they noted that his resignation happened much faster than anyone in the company had expected even earlier today um, and over the past 24 hours it seems to be like a situation where that statement the, the lawsuit and the Wall Street Journal news came out yeah the statement from <clears throat> Vince McMahon's lawyers and TKO mm. and then it was Right, Slim Jim's pulled sponsorship and Vince is gone. It, it's serious. Like, the, obviously, everything that's going on in and around the situation, it's incredibly serious. So it, it, there's no way I think they would have allowed him to stay at all. They would have found a way to get rid of him. So I think it was maybe go or you're going to be pushed. We will find a legal way to do it. Uh, but right now, it, it, this is sort of... You know, as you're saying with the, the losing the sponsorships, mm-hmm. I, I think they're going to struggle to find sponsorships for a little while, given that, you know, um, they've just opened themselves up to all of this. Yeah. Uh, they were just starting to make a, a great deal of profit via sponsorship deals. And I think this has just shut them out again and pushed them back down a level. So it, it's, um, you know, everything's up in the air, including the future of the company right now. But I think that... Um, you know, it's only a good thing that Vince has has left. It's been such a busy week for for WWE with obviously the TKO and and the Rock joining the company at the start yeah. of the week. You had the Netflix announcement, and you've got to look at something like the Netflix announcement and be like, "What's their thoughts on this?" Yeah. I'm sure we will we will get some information about that in the in the coming weeks. I imagine as this is as we said a constantly changing situation, and with the Royal Rumble tonight. You've got the press conference, which is still planned to go ahead. I am sure there'll be questions maybe asked there. There will be no doubt a statement mm. from WWE. It's uh, it's going to be one to keep an eye on and one that 
we will we'll no doubt be covering again very, very soon. Um, but yeah, that is, that's the latest on Vince McMahon's resignation and departure from TKO and WWE. As we said, the Royal, Royal Rumble is on tonight. Uh, we do have coverage of that going out on the channel. We've got the reactions with Adam and Andrew. So make sure you check out all that. And we've all of the, the regular content will be following the pay-per-view as expected. And of course, we are in London tonight uh, at Wembley Box Park. We're going to be hosting uh, Hooked on Wrestling's Royal Rumble, official Royal Rumble Watch Party. So if you are going to be there, make sure you say hello. We will see you there tonight. Uh, but enjoy the Royal Rumble and thank you for watching.